use Tacan to display distance to the carrier on the hood. The Tacan channel in this example is 55. To set the Tacan channel, press the Tacan function button and the on off push button to activate the Tacan function. Press the clear push button to clear the scratch pad, enter 55 and press the enter push button. The ICLS channel in this example is 11. To set the ICLS channel, press the ILS function button and the on off push button to activate the ICLS function. Press the clear push button, enter 11 and press the enter push button. To display TACAN and ICLS information on the hood, box TACAN and ILS on the HSI. To box TACAN and ILS, press OSB 13 twice, OSB 17 to select the HSI, and OSB 19 and 20. On the hood control panel, press the altitude switch to select radar altitude. In this example, the carrier course is 347 degrees. To set the TACAN course, press the course set switch. To repeat the HUD on the left DDI, press OSB 13 and OSB 18. Verify that the localizer is displayed on the DDI. We start at 10 miles DME at 1200 feet. The arresting hook is lowered and we turn to a course of approximately 350 degrees to intercept the localizer. The ICLS provides all weather instrument approach guidance from the carrier to the aircraft. The azimuth transmitter is located at the stern of the ship, slightly below the centre line of the landing area, while the elevation transmitter is located above the flight deck, aft of the island. As ICLS uses one-way transmission from the ship to the aircraft receiver, it is sensitive to pitching deck conditions. No later than 8 miles DME, we lower the landing gear and extend full flaps. We cross 6 DME at 150 knots, slowing to final approach speed.
At DME 3 we begin to descend on the glide slope. At DME 2, altitude is 800 feet. At DME 1, altitude is 400 feet. We are now in the groove. Our initial azimuth aim point is the crotch position of the flight deck. At DME 0 0.5, altitude is 200 feet. The improved Fresnel Lens Optical Landing System provides glide path information during the final phase of the approach. Acquisition range is 1.5 nautical miles. The ball is centred between 10 green datum lights. A high ball indicates we are above the glide slope, while a low ball indicates we are below the glide slope. The aircraft should hit the deck at 750 feet per minute, with the arresting hook catching the number 3 wire. Advance the throttles to full power at touchdown, then reduce power to idle. The LSO grades every landing from OK to fair, or no grade for a poor landing. He might grade this landing as fair. As always, feel free to like, comment and subscribe.